in the backfield. And it's batted down. There's a fine line there when you're winning the football game. What do you do on the defensive side? Well, that time, the defensive coordinator stayed aggressive, and he forces a fourth down by the offense. The coach is going to go for it. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. He's picked off again. He's brought to a halt. Give a lot of credit to the defense this time. They got the offense backed up. It's inside its own 20. They're aggressive, and being aggressive gives them a chance to get the interception, and they make it. Nice play. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. First down at the 17. Here's the quick toss. Still powering ahead. He's now over 50 yards rushing on the day. The Lions, they can do it all. Once they get in the red zone, they have the passes, the screens. They can throw it down to the back of the end zone. And how about that play? They can run the football right at you if they want to. And that time, they picked up some, some good yards on that run. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. The defense loading up on the line, getting set for this snap. And he's in for the touchdown. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the old line. And the point after is good. The Packers are back deep, ready to return. Hyde's going to test the coverage here. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. The Packers are set to take the field again on offense after a crazy sequence that didn't go their way. That turnover led to turnover points. And now let's see if the offense can get that back, Phil. Yeah, listen, I know they're going to be motivated because after they turned the football over last time, the coaches took them to the sideline and just gave them heck. That's for sure. That's a good way of seeing it. So motivation can't make those kind of mistakes. You've got to go out there and be much better. Second down following that incompletion. Quarters formation here for the defense. Toss to the outside. And Lawson, the one who made the big stop. The Packers are down on the scoreboard, and this running game is a big reason why. And Starks has been shut down from his very first carry on. No balance by this offense, like you said today. They can't run the football, but I've said this all the time. It's not always about just dominating physically and blocking up front. Running backs have to do their part. They have to make good decisions, and they got to break some tackles. We'll go no huddle. The Packers will take the snap from the 35. He'll pick up seven this time. Second down here after that run play. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt. When you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Looking to go deep. The ball is charred out of his hands. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football, and it leads to another incomplete pass. The Packers take it from the 28. Aaron Rodgers way down the field, but it's incomplete. The Packers know the win in the NFL, you got to pick up third downs. It doesn't matter how you do it. Third and short, they go with the pass. Not executed very well. Now it's fourth down. The defensive line now shifting to a spread look. They're going to try to pressure the quarterback in this play. The Packers turn the ball over on downs. Well, what the coach is trying to do, he's trying to give his team a lift. They're down. It's fourth and short. They go for it, and there is no lift there. The offense doesn't come through. Now you hope your defense can come out and stop them.
the Lions have it at the 29. Flip to the outside. That's a gain of only a yard. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Last play before the two-minute warning. And a nice catch by Calvin Johnson. Two minutes to go in the second half. Stafford's lining up in the pistol. First down at the 47. The nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. Set up now at the 36. First down and 10. Johnson's there to catch the ball to handle. Inside, and he's home for the touchdown. And they're not taking any chances. That touchdown will put this game out of reach. You're right. That was no let's just run the clock out kind of drive. They said, the heck with it. This is pro football. you got to show us you can stop us. And you know what they found out? They can't stop you. You're that good today. Really good job by the defense that time, stopping a two-point conversion because they do so many different things on the offensive side down the NFL. I think when the two-point conversion comes up on defense, attack the offense. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Packers line up, split backfield. First down at the 22. Starts taking it on the screen. He's tackled right at the 48. No bump coverage here. Corners backing up. They'll go right to the hurry up. Won't use a timeout here. Look out, they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. Picked up a couple that time. The pass play picks up only two. So now it's second down and eight following the completion. From the gun, Rodgers. Rodgers on the move. Going deep. Another interception. Tackles made. in the backfield the Lions snap it at the 36 Clay Matthews at the face of the quarterback the Lions signal for the timeout and that's the first one they've used Stafford lines up in the pistol. The Lions snap it up at the 26. Looking across the middle, and this pass goes incomplete as he was looking short that time. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. 
Guys, I just spoke with a Lions official. The medical staff is just saying it's a lower body injury and that he's cleared to return. Back to you. The Lions snap it at the 26. He'll throw it over the middle. Intercepted. And he's brought to the ground. Matthew is such an impressive athlete. We know he can tackle and stop the run game. But how about that in the pass game? Defending the pass and picking it off. Good job. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Down on the field. Could have been intercepted. What a good job by the defensive back that time. That ball was thrown beautifully down the field. High arcing throw. But the defensive back in great position knocks it down. Launching it deep. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice he threw it beautifully right on target touchdown <laughs> throws the pass and they will not convert here on the two-point conversion good stand by the defense the Packers now no doubt will onside kick it The kicking team fails to recover the onside kick, and that should just about wrap this one up. Yeah, tough job there. You know, look, the NFL has changed the rules over the year. You really only get one chance to get that onside kick, and that time they were not able to do it. The Lions step up to the line, employing now their jumbo package. First and ten. Had it, but the hit knocks the ball out. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Second down after the incompletion. The Packers go with the dime formation here on defense. Johnson's got it on a pass that had some heat. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. That may have been the clincher right there. Yeah, what a game all day long. So exciting to end it like this late in the game. Man, you enjoy victories like this. Makes the PAT. Most times, Phil, a rivalry game comes down to the wire, but this was one-sided today. Yeah, you know, Jim, when you play a rivalry game, it, it's, it's that for a reason because you know them so well. Then you come out here and just get destroyed. That hurts your confidence. It, it makes you worry about what you're doing. You know, a lot of things to correct after this game. For Phil Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long.